So I've been testing out the 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 levelness of the building and if you don't have a level nearby or anything nearby here's where how you can tell. So for example this kitchen here is not fully flat and I can tell because this marble goes forward. And here, before this was replaced, there used to be a dip right here. And that's why this bridge was leaning forward. And the table that's right here, which is, I think it's probably here somewhere. No, it's not this couch. This one right here was actually here but now that this is completely fixed we can no longer use this because it's not useful anymore and you can tell that they're angled right there because of the pattern that this gun is set on because it only no it goes like this like that you can tell that's not straight so if i just give it a loose no, if I just give it those flaps and that should be fine, but so yeah, so I'm taking this piece of cardboard here. <laughs> it just seems to roll forward. Now this is not completely flat. I had to <laughs> add a piece of cardboard under underneath to hold it. And there's actually one back here, so we just set this up. There's one right there, a thick one. And push this down, feel solid. Now, one thing that concerns me a lot is this load bearing beam. The load is being transferred to this pencil. If I push it down, this part of the building does not support underneath, so. Eventually, this cardboard may crack, so I may have to, I may have to put um, triangular pieces up against this beam and this beam and put a piece of cardboard on top, but that might twist these load-bearing beams like that, but you just have to make sure that put a little cross piece right here to just prevent that. And that load will be transferred onto the center of the building, all the way down. So, I just found out why this balcony door came out crooked. And it's because this building wasn't flat either. Although I worked on this on the floor, not on top of this building. Let's take a look here. You open it. It's kind of at an angle like that. We'll close it. It closes just fine and perfect and I could have replaced that door but the problem is that this wall is it just isn't straight and if I stick my finger down here and push that up it kind of worked this piece of cord kind of worked but it's not thick so I'm gonna add put this more back so I'm gonna add a super thin piece of cardboard to support it in this Nike box right here that was originally my marble box back in 2020 before I made it before I transferred it to other boxes and hopefully this will be enough to get it thickness so here's my super thin sheet of cardboard and I'm going to place it on top of this one. Hopefully that should fix the thickness of the cardboard. So take this, place it on top right here. I'm not going to tape it yet because taping it would just waste a lot of tape. Because, you know, this is not right. I'm just going to wasting a lot of tape. So I recommend just... Test fit it and see if it works. 
So that actually helped. You can see how more straight these walls are. But I can also tell it's rocking back and forth. You can also take a tape measure and measure how far each part of the first 11 floor is. And this is why it's not on top of something. Let's try again. And yeah, so. And if you take a look underneath there, the piece of cardboard might have been. So I'm going to push that more back tiny bit and try again oh that's solid that's not moving so that kind of fixed it up so next we need to raise this building up by this far off the ground because it's not flat you take a piece of cardboard a flat piece of cardboard and you take Marble and just put it on top, it seems to roll forward. But if you raise it a tiny bit, which I'm gonna do right here. It seems to not roll forward anymore. So I'm just gonna sit in there. Just like so, just so you guys can watch it. You use these two pieces of plastic. You stick it to thick one right here. And hopefully that should fix it. <laughs> there you go. So this is how much we need to raise up from this bottom part. But if I move this thing here, <laughs> the more will just start to come back down. So, yep. So now we have problems with the level of the foundation. It's not that it's not that this is starting to sink. It's just that they were not built up to the right height. So, when you guys remember, you have to have to take measurement from the bottom. So the next thing to do, according to this former bench, is to measure each corner of the building and see how high it is. I'm gonna take this apart just so that I don't knock it down and pull the building apart. And these reinforcements will protect the building. These extra piles will protect the building a lot more. So if someone were to hit it right here, it's not gonna crack the beams right here. Okay, so now we take a tape measure and from each corner, we measure how tall each corner is. It's probably. So here, I can tell that the building is 49, almost 49 and a half. And on this front side, It is actually a lot lower, 49 inches. So that's probably half an inch, a quarter of an inch lower than the, than the back of the building. So yeah, so let's do this side. And this wooden bench told me to build this garage the right way, and unfortunately, because I did a huge mistake, it literally caused, costed a lot more money to replace the entire garage. 49 inches, so... 
understand this side of the building. Make sure that you really is straight, not bent. It is. I can't even. Forty nine and a quarter. So yep, this part. So the front part of the building is a half and is a quarter of an inch lower than the back part of the building. So it's a little bit of height, a quarter of an inch. So yep, that's how you diagnosed. So if you guys don't know how to build a garage or how to diagnose it, go to the nearest wooden bench. If it comes out south coast or the wooden bench, they're deemed the garage unsafe and it had to be demolished after showing all the damage. Like, you know what, this garage needs to be replaced. It's gonna lot, cost a lot cheaper. This, like now, the middle part of the building is not sinking anymore, which is good news. But this part of the building is just not completely flat. So, like the marble that we pop, it seems to roll this way. So this part of the needs to be raised up by half an inch. So I put this piece of card, piece of plastic, here. So it does seem to rough all over a bit. Take my finger and lift it up a little bit more. It doesn't see what if I let go of it. <laughs> so this definitely needs to be fixed so well, and I us try the 11th floor then, the 12th floor. And upon the top part on, this side of the building is not straight. Until that's this beam isn't going down, this might need to be replaced. Take a look up here. Some of this carpet is not completely flat, and it could possibly be because I measured it the wrong way. So, so you might be measuring it from here to here, and on the bottom, and from here to here on the top. You might get the right, the same distance, but your piece of card will not be squared. It could be at an angle, just like this right here. And when you put the piece of cardboard, it's gonna come out like that because you didn't cut it right. So, as you diagnosed um, a garage failure, once again, if you don't know how to do that, see your wall, go to the nearest wooden bench, not a park bench. This bench is going to tell you a bunch of things like, and seems to be leaning. Okay, so everybody's going to come on the show. Just bad. That's you diagnosed your garage problems. And it's not all the way back. There we go. Well, 